Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today we have an empties video. All the products that I've used up over the past month or so, give or take. Um, I've got some new products in here that I just recently finished up and then I've got some tried and true. You guys know the deal I talk about. Whether I will repurchase it, some, if you're a chronic watcher of these videos, these will come as no surprise. Some are newer ones that I finished up and I want to tell you if I'm repurchasing them, what I'm purchasing instead, and then as always, I love hearing y'all's feedback. So if there's a product that I'm using that you're like, oh, I used to use this, but love this way better, or I don't know, whatever. Let me know in the comments down below. Mm -hmm. First one I have is the Kiehl's Calendula Deep Cleansing Foaming Face Wash. I've gone through more of these than I can even count. These are truly the only cleanser that really deep cleanse my skin, even though this is made for like oily, normal to oily skin, and it does kind of dry my skin a little bit. If I do not use this, I break out. Even though it's not like an acne fighting face wash, my biggest reason for not breaking out is not properly cleansing my face. So I have learned that, and since I have never gone back, I already ordered a new one of these. Kiehl's always does like 25% off around the holidays, so that's when I typically stock up on my stuff. Um, so yeah, the calendula. I have one in my shower and then I have one. Um, I have the big one in my shower and then I have a smaller, smaller one, like the normal size, in my like um, bathroom vanity. So I just never without this. Like I will never ever buy another face wash besides this one. So can't recommend it enough. If you are struggling with acne that you feel like um, could be due to not properly cleansing your skin, give it a go. I like I said, can't recommend it enough. I finished up this TheraBreath. Um, this one was for healthy gums. I felt like last month I was dealing with just like gum sensitivity. I switched to like Sensodyne toothpaste and I switched to this. And since I switched to that, I haven't had any issues. And then I started working my whitening toothpaste back in. And then I went back to the Cavities one, which is the pink one. Um, I liked this a lot. I felt like it really did help with my gum sensitivity. Um, so if you're dealing with like sensitive gums, like when you brush like up near the gum line, if you feel like kind of like a pain every once in a while, try this out. It really helped me. So now that I'm cured, I guess, um, I don't have to use that right now. So I'm going back to the cavities one because that's what I'm mostly concerned about. Um, but if I'm having any gum sensitivity again, I would go back to that guy tried and true um this is the ulta md uv daily tinted spf face whatever spf um i love this this is my favorite face spf i was using the cerave cerave for a while because i had run out of this um or maybe, yeah i had just gotten this in my like amazon i subscribe and save to this on amazon so i was waiting for this to be delivered my next round and I was using the CeraVe. That's why I haven't had one of these in my empties in like a month or two because um, I was using that one as well. But this is trying to my absolute favorite SPF 40. So good. If you're looking for a good tinted SPF that you like actually want to wear and enjoy, give that one a go. It's amazing. Not surprised, are we? This is the Natrium Biolipid Restoring Body Lotion. It's fragrance free. My all time favorite body lotion ever for just like a daily lotion like this is thick enough to really hydrate the skin but doesn't sit on the skin it really soaks in and I I'm obsessed anything that Naturium does I just tried their body butter and I love it um they just crush it they do really really good body care skincare um at affordable prices not affordable like a little more than drugstore but not as like insane as like Sephora so obsessed my only wish is that I wish Ulta carried them so I could get points, but okay. So this is a product that if you had asked me when I first got it, I would have said, no, I hate it. I don't feel a need for it. I don't like it. Now I'm obsessed and I want to buy it again. This is the ne necessary, necessary, whatever, the body serum. Um, I did just pick up though the Good Molecules one. I just grabbed it. I haven't even used it yet, so we'll see. It's a heck of a lot more more affordable than this. This I will say lasted me a really long time. It's, it's a hyaluronic acid for your body. It has um, hyaluronic acid, and I want to say it has other things. No, but it just has five molecular weights of hyaluronic acid, which basically you put this on underneath your body lotion. If you are like real dry, you don't have to put it all over. You can put it on those like flaky areas. Like for me, my shins get really dry in the winter. So I add a little bit extra of this. Um, it's, 
it's really good. I know it's like kind of one of those like unnecessary extra added steps, but I do notice the difference in my skin. It's just so buttery and soft when I use this. Um, but like I said, I'm trying out the good molecules, which is like half the price of this. So we'll see. I'll report back, but I would repurchase this. And if I don't like the good molecule ones, I'm going back and getting that one because it's really freaking good. This, this is the Kyung Pang Yule Essence Toner. This is my second one that I've gone through. I really like this. I feel like it's a good hydrating essence that kind of calms and just like refreshes my face, but it's, it's a toner, but it's thicker and it's kind of got this like hydrating gooey-ish feeling. Almost think between like, it's a little bit thinner than like snail mucin, but not as thin as like just a liquid toner. I really like this stuff. Um, like I said, I've purchased it twice. Currently, right now, I'm going back to my Numbuzzin, um, what's it called? Super Glow Essence. I like the two of those like, interchangeably, but this is a really good one if you're looking for one that you can grab off Amazon. It's super affordable, and yeah, like I said, this is my second one that I've gone through, and yeah, I would definitely, definitely repurchase that again. I think I just kind of like was using what I have in my stash, but Next thing I finished up is the Ritual um, Essentials for Women, the multivitamin. I switched over to Essence, or Essence of Ritual Vitamins. I think it's been four months now, three months? I think it's been three months. Um, and I have, I bought like six months worth of the vitamins to kind of really see what I think. I hate the mint flavor, I'm just gonna say that. And a lot of you guys said the citrus is better, so I would try that one again. Um, so far, I really like it. I think it's a little bit pricey for, it's like 40 bucks a month if you buy it from like Target. So I I always just find someone's coupon code or wait till they do 40% off, which is what I do and then I stock up. Um, so yeah, I think I would definitely re continue to re use these. I like them, I mean, they're aesthetically cute, but I also really like how I've been feeling with them. So, so far so good. Okay. This guy, this is the Kenra Blow Dry Spray Advanced Dry Thermal Protectant. Okay, I love this stuff. I love all Kenra. It's very like, I don't know, it just smells good. It works amazing. My hair blow dries a lot faster. Um, something I will say though, I am not repurchasing this right away because I am somebody who suffers very badly from really oily scalp and drier, not even dry ends. I would say normal ends, oily scalp. But in the winter, I deal with so much static hair. Like my hair is just so staticky. I sleep with a silk pillowcase. I then I start switching to not using as like light of products. So I I have really thin hair, so my hair tends to weigh down. So I typically go for like clear products that don't like weigh my hair down, but when it comes to the winter time, I switch more to creamier based products because it adds more a little hydration to my hair, which helps reduce the staticness. Ugh, I hate static. I sleep with a humidifier. I just hate static, but I would repurchase this again. But again, like I said, I switch to, what am I currently using? The Bumble and Bumble Invisible Oil. It's like a creamier base, but it's still light enough. It doesn't weigh my hair down. I love that one. And I feel like it just adds a bit more hydration and does very similar stuff to this. So I love this. If you don't deal with um, static hair in the winter, get it. It's amazing. It's shiny. It blow dries. It's just beautiful. It's so, so good. It's yeah, I love it. But like I said, I think that the Bumble and Bubble does very similar stuff to this and it's creamier. So it helps reduce some static cling that I deal with in the winter, but I will definitely be buying that again. And that one's the small one and it lasted me, I would say like, I don't know, probably five months, six months. So you don't need a ton. Um, and I really like it. I would buy the big one next time. This guy, this is the advanced nail polish remover, 96% acetone. This is my favorite nail polish remover. I've bought probably six of these from Target over the last couple of years. They're, it's just a good nail polish remover. It gets off dark colors, but it doesn't like dry your nails to oblivion. It does have acetone in it, but I like that because I don't want to be like dicking around, taking 12 years to take off my nail polish, okay? So I like this one and I buy it all the time. It's just a good affordable one to grab. Um, I have two sheet masks here. In the winter, I really love sheet masks and I specifically have been loving sheet masks because I've been doing tretinoin. I signed up for Muesli. I keep saying, I'm hoping I'm saying that right. Muesli, Muesli, I don't know, whatever. It's a weird word. It reminds me of the cereal um, or like the granola stuff. But I have been dealing with a little bit of peeling residue from Muesli. 
tretinoin and sheet masks have been coming and saving my life with that. So these are my absolute two favorite. I have repurchased these more times than I can count and this is my second box of these. So these are the COSRX Advanced Nail Mucin Power Sheet Masks. So if you love the essence itself, you will love these. Basically the same thing. It's just really sealing it in and gives you such a beautiful glow. This is beautiful to wear underneath makeup. Um, like if you want to do it for the day because it really does give you just like an all over glow or at night as a nighttime treatment. But that is so good for just overall glowiness and hydration to the skin. This I would say is more of a repair hair, a repair hydration, but this is one of my first sheet masks that I used that I was like, wow, this actually makes a difference. This is the Dr. Dart Ceramidin Barrier Repair Moisturizing Mask. These are expensive, they're like $9, it's ridiculous, but these honestly, I love the whole Ceramidin line from Dr. Dart, it's just really freaking good, and this is just, everything you definitely notice just like a plump and a calming effect to your whole your whole like face so I've been like when you're doing tretinoin it can kind of somewhat disturb your barrier of your skin so making sure that you're keeping it restored and keeping putting things into it to help repair your own skin is key so you don't have any like acne breakouts and just when you disrupt the balance of your skin that's when you get you get issues so I have been loving those two masks and for years and um, yeah, I used two this month. This guy, this is the Kiehl's Ultra Repair or Ultra Facial Cream. I love this moisturizer. It's just an oldie, but it's a goodie. It's just such a standard classic moisturizer when I'm, I don't know, just want something to hydrate my skin, but it wears beautifully under makeup. I can layer it a little bit thicker for the nighttime, but I love this mostly as a daytime cream and I've repurchased this probably five times. Do not purchase it off Amazon though because I got a fake one from Amazon, so always purchase it from like Ulta or Sephora or Kiehl's.com because they are having 25% off. This guy, this is the Premier Crew by Caudalie, Caudalie, whatever, their serum. Um, I've had this in my collection for years. They don't even make this packaging anymore, uh, but I hadn't used it. I had just had it and I, I hate it. Um, I was like, okay, well, I'm not gonna use it on my face. I know a lot of people love it. I'm not gonna use it on my face. I'll just use it on my neck. I didn't like it. I don't like the smell of it. I just, I would pass. I'm not a big fan of it. Um, I think that even the newer one, I don't I've tried so much Caudalie and I just, Caudalie, whatever. I just don't think it's worth the hype in my opinion. So I would steer clear from that and it's like a hundred dollar serum. So yeah, save your money. Next guy is the Benefit the Professional Super Setting Spray. This is my setting spray that I've used whoever. Um, gone through a million of these. Definitely always pick one of these up whenever there's a sale. I liked those minis because Ulta was doing like buy one, get one free. Um, so I stocked up on a bunch of minis, but now I'm on two of my big size. Uh, this guy, this it's just time to part with. This is the Kate Somerville Eradicate. Um, this is like a sulfur acne treatment. Personally for me, sulfur doesn't really do a ton for me. So I'm just getting rid of this. It's beyond expired. And I wish it was like in the back of my like beauty cabinet. Um, I don't, I don't love these sort of acne treatments. I much prefer the patches um, or just using good old fashioned tea tree oil. In my opinion, that works really good. Another one of these, I am a lip gloss, lip balm whore. Like I'm obsessed, okay? Summer Friday has taken over my life, of course, like so many other people, but this also is one of my OG favorites. This is the Too Faced Hangover RX Pillow Balm. I've probably gone through five of these in my life. The banana is honestly my favorite flavor. Um, a scent whatever I always take out the little plastic bit and then get a little spatula to get the bottom and get every little last bit out I always have one of these at my desk I will repurchase them till the end of time they're really a good non-irritating lip balm I don't know about you guys but I was obsessed with Burt's Bees for years and years and I realized that they were really irritating my lips mint can be very irritating to your lips and so switching from that to stuff like this and that, which I didn't think would help, like the Summer Friday or this, but it's game changer. My lips have never been in better, better spirits, shall we say. <laughs> okay, I have a hand cream. This is the EOS Shea Butter. I got this, um, Shea Butter. Hand cream in vanilla cashmere. I got this when we went on an Alaskan cruise and I really enjoyed this. I love the way it smells. I love the way it feels on my hands. I am switching, this was my nighttime cream. I am switching to the Kiehl's Ultra Repair or Hand Salve, I wanna say is what it's called. I get one of those every single winter, um, but this was a really nice one, but now that like it's even 
drier and my hands are just constantly dry. I like that one better. It's a little bit thicker and non-scented, so I think it works a little bit better. But I loved this one. If you want just like a nice like hand lotion that smells good, this is a good one from the drugstore. I would repurchase that again. This one was my car um, hand lotion. This I was gifted. This is the hyaluronic acid or gifted, like a, a friend gave it to me, <laughs> hydrating hand cream. I liked it. I liked the smell at first, but then it became really strong. And I, I've mentioned this a million times in my um, other, like my vlog channel, is that like my one Pilates teacher who I take on Monday and Wednesday, she has a huge scent sensitivity. Like she can't, like her throat will like close up if anyone wearing something fragranced. So this was my hand cream in the car and I felt like I couldn't use it because I didn't want to like killer you know so i switched to a gold bond one that i've been loving because normally i'm not a lotion girl throughout the day because i hate the feeling on my hands but that one is like such a dry it's so good so this was okay but no i'm not gonna repurchase that um these guys i love these if you don't use these to shave your uni brow or your beard or your mustache or whatever you need them they're like little chic razors from amazon i i keep one for probably like longer than i should and then i eventually switch to them um and i yeah I, a pack of three lasts me like a year that's probably not good but i never have any issues so i just shave my beard my unibrow and some random stray hairs that i can <laughs> um yeah i know everybody gets it so i'm not embarrassed but this this is the high sarah by um high sarah by Ritual, this is their daily skin hydration vitamins. So I think I'm on my third month of these and I'm like, I think they say you'll notice a difference after three months. So I can't really report back as to what they're doing a ton, but they're supposed to help just kind of like pump the skin from the inside out. Um, I think they claim to like reduce wrinkles or something like that. I'm not sure how that would be, but we're gonna keep using them because I think I have like three more bottles. So. So far, I like them. They're vanilla flavored, so they're better than the mint, that's for sure. But I wish they would just non-scent anything because I just don't like that. I wonder if those come non-scented. That should be an option on their site. But so far, I've been liking them. I can't report back to say I've had amazing results, though. These, though, I love. I've been hooked on these since I want to say this summer. I've probably gone through six or seven of these containers. Nilani actually recommended me these. These are the JS Health Hair and Libido. They also have hair and energy. Um, I'm on a hair growth journey. I'm ready to grow my hair back out. Um, I think I have very healthy hair, uh, but I just feel like it's kind of thin. And as we age hair just stops growing as much as it used to when we were young. So um, I've been really enjoying these vitamins. I take them every day and yeah, so far so good. I wish they came in bigger quantities. I need to look and see so I don't have to get them every month, but I'm on auto subscription on these and they're like 20 bucks um, and I love them. So yes, I would totally recommend them if you're trying to grow out your hair. I will say though, they make all hair grow, okay? So armpits, legs, yeah, have fun with that. So, um, last uh, little empty I have here is the Ordinary Buffet, the copper peptides. Peptides are supposed to be like a plumping of the skin, help reduce wrinkles, all that, help fight free radicals. The hard part about using peptides is they counteract vitamin C, so you don't want to use them for vitamin C, and they counteract retinol. So that's the hard part of figuring out when to use them. I was using them on nights that I wasn't using tretinoin. I was not using them in the morning. I was using them in the morning for a while, but then I wanted to go back to vitamin C. So um, I started using them again at night on the nights that I wasn't using my tretinoin. Now, I don't know if these counteract tretinoin, but I know they counteract retinol. So I don't really know. But I did really love these. They're kind of pricey, though. I want to say this serum is like 30, 35 bucks, um, which isn't terrible, but it's more expensive for um the ordinary but you guys ever since trying good molecules i've switched over basically anything that i bought from um the ordinary in the past i'm now buying good molecules version of it and i just picked up their peptides serum so i'm gonna try theirs out and see how i think about it and then decide it's also like 12 bucks versus this is like 30 35 so that's my thoughts on that but i did really enjoy this i think it helps glow just overall work on the like clearness and evenness of my skin and plump obviously so i did really enjoy this but like i said i'm gonna try out the good molecules version i think that the good molecules versions uh, in my opinion like the hyaluronic acid that i've used um and what else do i use from good 
molecules. Their discoloration serum, love both of those. I think that their formulas are just much more like pleasant to use and nine times out of ten they're, they're more ex or less expensive. So that is it you guys. Those are all of my empties that I've used over the past month. Um, I love making these videos. I think that they're really helpful. I love watching them. It helps kind of get a like a feel if the person like if I mentioned one of these products in my favorites video like you're like okay did you actually fully use it what are my thoughts are you repurchasing it that's the biggest like testimony so I hope you guys enjoyed find these videos helpful and fun and like I said if you use any of these products you found better or whatever let me know in the comments down below I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video very very soon